Hello there everybody, Dan Calloway here and thanks for watching. Um, coming to you again today from the Linux Unix tech channel. Uh, today I want to deviate just a little bit from my typical uh, videos that I do uh, which is basically about Linux and Unix because that's the channel name. But today I want to present something that I'm really uh, interested in and I've gotten into now and it's a blogging journaling um, website uh, that I've been introduced to by a, a longtime friend of mine um, from Montreal, Canada, who uh, is involved in a new startup called teletype.in. I'm really liking it. He uh, private messaged me and uh, asked me to take a look at it and if I was interested to join the site. So I did and I, I joined the site and he subscribed to my channel already. Let me go up and uh, go into my Chrome browser here and show you that the website is its a secure site. It's called https colon forward slash forward slash teletype dot in. Here it is. Um, you can sign up by clicking this button right here. And so you just put in your email address, your nickname that you want to be referred to by, and your password. And then you can join, simply join that way, or you can sign up with Facebook or Google or, or Telegram, one of those options, okay? Uh, let me back out of this and get back to here. Now, this is uh, information about the site itself. It's called teletype.in, and as I said, this is a new startup. I'm not absolutely sure how relatively new it is, but I think it's fairly new. Um, and uh, it's for publishing. It's publishing for everyone, as it says here. Let me just read this. We imagine the, the writing workflow, reimagine the writing workflow, and simplify the editing tools to let you focus on one key element, your words. As intuitive as it may be, Teletype is a powerful publishing platform built with best technology and modern media trends in mind. And best of all, it's free. And yes, that's true. It is free. Um, You've got uh, the possibilities here of channel subscriptions. So when you provide content on the site, people can subscribe to you. Likewise, you can subscribe to others. All right, they send you a link to their um, their journal or their blog or their site, uh, which could be their own domain for that matter. Um, then you can go up on it and hit the subscribe button. I'll show you where that's at. Uh, when we get into it, and uh, your link to them. So anytime that uh, new content is put up there, you'll get notified about it through the, no through the notification process. You can put in custom domain if you own one. Uh, there is a SSL cert a certificate uh, for security as well on your domain, so you don't lose that if you bring your domain in. Um, you can incorporate Google Analytics into your uh, blog or journal. Uh, whatever you're presenting on the platform um, and it allows you to connect to Google Analytics so you can keep track of your visitors and how often they're visiting and new visitors that you have to the site each day etc. So it's a good tool. Uh, comments can be applied to your your blog posts and to journal articles or any articles that you post that allows you to interact with your audience. Um, you can choose your adaptive layout here. I've got an iPhone and an iPad, so right now I use it on my Linux uh, desktop or laptop, rather. Um, but uh, I'm sure that if I pull it up on my iPhone or iPad, it would immediately adapt to that particular platform, uh, as it tells you here. I'm looking forward to that. Sharing preferences here, you can have complete control over your uh, your site itself, and so unlike a lot of uh, uh, blogging, for instance, sites like WordPress, some of those, um, you don't have necessarily total control over it, um, you know, unless you have uh, web hosting and then you've got um, WordPress as a, a module that you've pulled in that you've uploaded. But if you go to WordPress.com, you're not going to have complete control. This one allows you to have that. You can select multi-channels. That means you can have more than one blog or journal going on at once. I just have the one right now which is the Linux Unix tech channel. But I can add another one uh, or multiple ones at will. Nice feature here is teamwork. Uh, you can bring other people into your blog or journal or content. 
giving them permissions uh, you set for them uh, as authors to provide and contribute content to your channel, which is really nice. Uh, Notification Center is when you have new subscriptions. It notifies you of new subscriptions and new posts or comments that have been applied to your site. Um, you're immediately notified of that, and so uh, you can monitor that and uh, take advantage of of responding to that um, when you're off platform. You can uh, save a draft of your work. So you don't have to publish right away. So if you're up working on a, an article uh, or a post, a blog post, um, you don't have to uh, necessarily post it right away. You can save it as a draft, come back later, and then publish it whenever you're ready. You can add categories as you go along. For instance, I've got Linux and Unix, and I believe software and technology are the four categories that I have besides the home category. But I can take away from that or add to that at any time um, on my particular uh, blog. You've got instant view here by other people that uh, you know belong to or subscribe to Telegram or Facebook. Uh, here you, it's the site itself is Retina ready, so that for platforms that have, uh, you know, like iPhone or uh, iPad, you know, so you don't lose the quality of the images that you put up there. It's a Retina ready site. Um, it's search engine optimization friendly, so search engines are able to find you fairly easily. That's good because that builds uh, uh, access to your site and promotes your site. And then you don't need to know any code. You can forget the code because when you use teletype.in, uh, they do most of the work for you behind the scenes so that you don't have to worry about that. All you need to worry about is what you want to put up there and what you want to write, and it lets you do it. I like that. Here's a What's New button. You can click on that or for business here. You can also contribute to the site if you like. Okay. All right, so that's a little bit about teletype.in. Um, let me go over to my other browser, which is my Mozilla Firefox web browser. And let me get back into teletype.in, and I will show you that if you go up to teletype.in, after you've set up your account the first time and logged in the first time, the next time you log in, it gets cached to your browser and you log in under your account. So it's teletype.in forward slash at, and in my case, Data Pioneer. That's my username. As I said, I have one subscription here, uh, which is the uh, uh, Artashes, the individual that, uh, that I've known for years who introduced me to this website. It's a good friend of mine. And so I know I have one subscription. Uh, when I look at someone else's work, there's a subscription button here that comes up and I can click on that if I want to subscribe to their site as well and then they'll have their subscription uh, appended augmented by the fact that you've joined okay here's the tagline for my blog it says blogging about all things Linux and Unix here are the categories I referred to uh, home Linux if I click on Linux it takes you to the a Linux article that I have I don't have any Unix articles so far uh, technology got a technology article there and then software which is the recent article GNOME file transfer protocol client. I have a draft right here that I'm working on it was just a, a sample if I click draft it's a test article I just wanted to show you that you can start an article and you don't have to necessarily publish it right away you just click the draft. If you want to start a new post you can click new post button and it opens up the interface to do that. Um, let me go back to uh, an article that I have here, Linux, okay, uh, which is reviewing Arch Linux XFCE 4DE. And the latest article that I have is this one, which is the GNOME File Transfer Protocol GFTP client. Uh, I talk about introducing the client here and that I've been working with it for several years and et cetera, et cetera. And then I get into what the protocol SSH version 2 is and how it interacts with the platform itself. And then at the very end of my article, I have a YouTube video uh, linked into the article itself. Uh, if I click this button, you're not going to be able to hear it play uh, because it doesn't come across. I'm screencasting with simple screen recorder. You're not going to be able to hear that, but I'll show you that it does pull up and it does start playing. 
and uh, it plays the article, uh, the video rather itself. So let me stop it. You can go out to video if you want to by clicking that button, obviously, and you can expand to full screen so that you can see the article um, video associated with the article here. Okay, um, basically takes you right out to uh, a full screen view of the article video that's in that article itself. And if you click the YouTube, it takes you out to YouTube to play it there as opposed to playing it here on this site. All right, but that's only one thing you can do here. There are many more things you can do. Um, you can incorporate videos. You can incorporate code. You can incorporate images into your blogs or journals, etc. When you create a new post, let me just go ahead and click on New Post uh, and Data Pioneer. So if I have a fresh post here, I can put in the title of my story and I can start typing content. This little button pops up over here and I can click that. And here's the content that you can add and you can see what you've got here. Um, you know, bulleted, numbered, code, uh, subheader, divide, iframe, you know, video, in, an image, etc., etc. And then when you're done with it, you can click publish here. Okay. Let me get back to Data Pioneer, back to my site. I'm not going to publish anything there. Um, now, let me show you how you can control some of the aspects of your, your new blog uh, from teletype.in. If you click on your profile button, it opens up your profile and it shows you the comments that have been left for you. Um, I have three comments left by Artashes, a friend of mine. Uh, you can start a new post by doing it from here as well. There's a button off to the left. If you click that, it allows you to control various aspects of your site. You can change your site's name, um, display name, the description of the site itself, uh, the tagline. You can come over. You can add authors here. You can add an author. I'm an admin, but you can add an author and give that author other than admin privileges. So they can do certain things, but not necessarily, you know, they're not able to delete your post, for instance, which, you know, you might want to consider. Um, you can do a custom domain. You can bring a custom domain in to teletype.in uh, as well. You can uh, add to or take away from topics that you have. These are the links that are out here um, on the site, Linux, Unix, technology, and software. If I want to add another topic, I just press that button right there. If I want to remove a topic, I just come over here and remove it. I can go to my account from this interface, and so I can control uh, you know, various aspects like the main email associated with it. Um, I've linked Facebook here, but I've not linked tele Telegram or Google. I do have a Google account, but not a Telegram account. Uh, I can even delete the channel if I want to from there. Okay, And then I can sign out here. So let me go ahead and sign out. And... Um, you can click join telegram here but I've already joined so we just click on subscribe so this makes it look like you know a new a new user so if they come across if I give this person that I want to take a look at my site uh, a link to it I can give them the link here and then when they hit it for the first time this subscribe button is going to come up so if they want to subscribe to it they can or if they want to join teletype they can do it directly from there as well alright so this has been kind of a quick overview of teletype.in. Like I said, it is a new platform, a new journaling, blogging platform uh, for showcasing your business even. Um, great way to do that. And I like the look and feel of it. I like the way that the type comes up and allows you to get in and do various things and edit um, articles, for instance, um, you know, once you get logged in. So I'm not logged in right now. Uh, if you click that link right there when you're logged in, an edit button pops up and lets you edit your, your site. Okay, so um, this has been teletype.in, and uh, I wish you a very happy day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.